To create a virtual machine in Azure, you navigate to portal.azure.com. Then you go up to search and search for virtual machines and pick that. Then you want to hit create virtual machine. And then you and I will fill each one of these settings while I explain them to you. You need a subscription. This is a billing container for your resources. One resource is this virtual machine that we are about to create. Similarly, we want to create a resource group that is a container that organize and manage our related Azure resources again, such as this virtual machine. Click create new and then we can give it a name. Feel free to name it whatever you want. I will call my, mine RG for resource group, VM for virtual machine, demo and then West Europe. Then I hit OK. I also want to give my virtual machine a name. I'll call mine VM demo West Europe. And then we can call it zero one because this is the first one that we're about to create. I'll create a few ones more in the coming days. Then we have the region. This is where our virtual machine is physically placed. You want to place it as close to you or your users or your workload. Then we will reduce latency and costs. So if you are not living close to West Europe, you will just pick another region. Then we have the availability options. Here, the availability zone is recommended for production because then our resources will be physically separated in the region. Then we have the zone options. Right now, our if I click this availability zone, our virtual machine will only be in one data center. But I can choose to deploy it on multiple data centers. This means higher availability, but and as you can see, we have three ones up here, but now we pay triple the price price. I don't recommend that. So if this is your first virtual machine and you want to get started, I will always go with this. It's enough. Then I also want to pick the security type. This is the protection level of your virtual machine. Choose trusted launch unless you have high sensitive workloads, then I'll probably take the confidential. Then we need to choose the operating system on our virtual machine. Click see all images. So what operating system do I want? Do I want Alma Linux? Do I want Windows 10, Windows Server, Ubuntu? I think I go with Windows 11 for this. So I click this drop down and I will take the Windows 11 Pro X64 Gen 2. And there we have it. Now I can choose to get a discount. Then Azure will send me to where they have available resource. I don't recommend this, but because then we they can revoke that access and it will be unstable. So only use it for testing if you want to take this. Now I want to choose the size. This is the CPU, memory and price. Click see all sizes. Let me collapse all these categories. So each category have a purpose. So if I want a virtual machine for high memory needs, then I choose one of the E series. I need a general purpose machine, so I'll go into the D series. I'll take the new one, but that is also the most expensive one. Feel free to degrade down in the D series or whatever series you want. Then I scroll down. Here I want to pick the D32 DS V6, for example. As I can see, it costs $1,700 a month. But this is only if I have it running 24 7. I will only have this virtual machine running while I use it. That will probably be like 40 minutes a day. Keep in mind that while we don't pay for compute, when this virtual machine is shut down, we still pay for networking and storage. So I select it by clicking it and hit select. Then I need to pick a username and password. 
I will call it Anasian's Nog, my username, and then I will pick a password. Here I will go with the default that is the RDP. That is how I want to connect to this virtual machine. Keep in mind that I open this connection to the entire internet. Of course, they need to have my username and password to log in, but still. You can also choose to close this and then you'll need to log in to, for example, Azure Bastion. We also need to confirm that we have a Windows 11 license. We have that right. And then I can choose to configure it further. I will hit review and create. And please, if you like this guide, then give it a thumbs up down here below. That will really help me and my channel a lot. Thank you. Then we can also see that the price is 2.39 US dollars an hour. Not a lot, but if you have it running the entire month, that will be 1700. I'll hit create and then I will fast forward over this deployment. This will take like two minutes. And that's it. Our deployment is complete. Then you want to go to the resource like here. What we see here is that it runs. You can see here that it's started because that is grayed out. If I want to stop it, I can do that. Keep in mind that now we pay whatever the hourly cost is. I will recommend that you go to operations over here and take the auto shutdown. Let's say I forget to shut this down manually. Then I will have a rule saying that this shuts down at midnight. You can change this time. So pick something in the night where you don't work. And I can choose the time zone. I live in Copenhagen. Then I can hit save. Now, if I forget it, this will shut down. So I'll not be billed a lot of money. Then we also need to I go to overview. So when I need to connect to this virtual machine, then I hit connect, connect, then I will download an RDP file. Here you can see it warns me it's not dangerous. So I'll choose keep. Then let me show you the file. It comes here in my downloads. I will recommend that you save this file because you will use it each time you want to connect to the virtual machine. Double click to open it. Then I will hit connect. You will need to provide your password here. So I will do. And then we will connect it. Yes. Now our virtual machine has started. As you can see, we're logging in in Windows. The first time, like in every Windows installation, this is a little bit slow. You also need to accept a few things. So what we will do here is that I want to show you that I can go up here in the top and here I can choose to change the size of this container. It will do nothing to the virtual machine. It will still be there. I can also minimize it. I have it down here. Let me maximize it and fast forward once more. And now I have my virtual machine. I can use it just like my Windows computer. I have a start menu. I can install applications and much more. And again, I can go up here and I have it in my container. So I can work on my computer and the virtual machine. Keep in mind again that we are built right now. So each time I don't use it, I want to go to show you how we get in here. Again, we go to portalazure.com. Then you can find your virtual machine here. So if you stop it, just do this. Then you click yes. Keep in mind that your virtual machine will shut down right now. So now it's stopping. As you can see here, it's actually shutting down over here. Now we're only build or storage and networking. So I can just hit OK here. Your next video about automating Windows, automating web pages and all applications with drag and drop and low code is right here. You should go watch it.